Overrated for this week. This is a great one. Overrated. Wind chimes. This dude says, I hate the annoying clink-clank sound with a fucking passion. What is wrong with the people? Huh? What's wrong with people? Seriously. The world is not loud enough. You have to fucking add to it. You know? They, they do believe the sounds will make them better people or make life better. You know what, dude? You want such a great role to you write, wrote that fucking sentence. Oh, do they believe the sounds will make them better people or make their life better? I found it most annoying and uh, in, invasive. I, I find it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm never drinking on the podcast again. Go fuck yourselves. All right, what is wrong with people? Where am I? I find it the most annoying and evasive thing I am forced to listen to, even with closed windows. But they're so peaceful. Um, if you fucking like the sound, why don't you put them up inside your home and have the fucking fan going? And anyway, what gives anybody the right to push their taste on others? Dude, I totally agree. It's like if you're going to make smokers smoke outside, then you want to make these fucking wind chime people take that shit indoors. I can't tell you how annoying that is. It's an, you know what's annoying about it? Is it's an annoying sound that's trying to be fucking spiritual. That's what kills me. It's, even a, it's, it's more annoying than just a loud annoying sound that's fucking annoying because at least the loud annoying sound has the fucking courage to be annoying. Those fucking things, they actually, they're, 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 you know what, why not go on YouTube and just get some fucking wind chime sounds for all you dumb cunts out there who do yoga, you know, and actually think that these fucking things sound good. Here we go. Wind fucking chimes, YouTube. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Yeah, because somebody fucking loves them so much, they put up a video. Here we go for all you cunts out there. Here it is. I got to admit, those are nice. This isn't fair. This guy's got fuck. He's got the professional grade level ones. These things look like the exhaust on a goddamn. Oh, that's giant wind chimes. All right, I just learned something. I don't mind giant wind chimes. Oh, here's one. Here's one of these little douchey ones you get at a fucking hardware store. It's typical YouTube. You just can't put wind chimes. Okay, beautiful wind chime. Is this the cunty sounding one? There it is. You know what the great thing is? Is they're made out of metal, so when you rip them off, you have a fucking blunt object to beat your neighbor to death with. That's what you do. And then you dip it in fucking peroxide or bleach, and you hook it back up again. Let those A&E cunts figure out that murder. A man murdered on his porch. You know, somehow they'd find, you know, in a fucking... <laughs> I don't know, an eighth of an inch of his face imprint on that fucking wind chime. Have you ever watched those A&E things, how they catch people? It's, it's like it's not even fucking fair. You ever see the one as they take another healthy sweat? I got news for you. I'm having another beer. This might be the new thing. I might do this shit Thursday night, take a night off from stand-up, tell my chick to hit the fucking bricks. Is there anything better than drinking in your own goddamn house? It just makes you want to start screaming about the shit you own. You know? <laughs> I paid for this shit! You hear that old man downstairs? I'm going to get louder and he's going to come up here. That would be the ultimate podcast. You know the thing about old people is you always have to worry that they are a fucking... Like, they, they, they fought in a fucking war. Because I never had. I never have. So I have total respect for fucking veterans. And the fact... That they still got it in them. You know? That would be insane one night if I actually just totally pissed him off. And he really did fight in the Korean War. And he just fucking threw whatever that fucking thing is you throw up. When, you, when you're going to climb up the rope on the side of the building. You know that, that, that fucking land fish hook thing? Throws it up there and just climbs up. Comes over my railing. As I'm sitting here doing this podcast. Half in the bag. And he's got a kitchen knife between his teeth like a fucking pirate. What would I do? I've probably taken 12 karate classes in my life, and they've all been like, you know, six years apart. Fucking guy coming and fillet me. You know? 
I don't fucking know. I just sat back and I just lost the screen here. Yeah, so whatever. Wind chimes are fucking overrated. They really are. But I got to tell you, if you get the giant ones, the giant ones are nice. Listen to the giant ones. The giant ones have a nice tone to them. It's a little deeper. I think I figured it out. Come on, man. You got to admit, that's not bad. If you let go of the anger of your childhood, right? Let go of your anger for a second. See? Sound of a ship in the background. The ocean coming up on the beach. (laughs) You ever get to that point, right, when you're going to get relaxed and let go? And then you get so fucking scared, you get right back into the anger, and then you want to punch somebody in fucking yoga pants.